everybody this is mike venus and i'm back and i'm gonna call this force basics right so one major thing to learn if you get in the force i'm gonna go to an empty project is this set of buttons over here you got menu push this button you get to the menu right this is it right okay so over here you got play this is the play you got stop record undo if you push shift and undo again it will redo right load is another way that you can get to the browser so say if you're at the matrix which is basically this screen and you want to go straight to the browser just push load you get straight there right you got save right you got ways you can save the whole project you can save the project as you can start a new project you can save the track which is the individual column right you can save the effects rack that you have for that you can save the plugin program meaning basically if you set up your own presets like if you say you pick a a preset or a plugin and you change the parameters and you want to save that so that you can load it up you can save that it's program you can save all clips clips are the individual things that hold midi or audio you can do the audio mix down this is how you convert stuff to a, a wave file or whatever format and you can save it as a late a live ableton live set either the light version or the other versions right that's what happens if you push the save button, right? The matrix is basically this screen. So if you push the matrix, you'll come back to this screen. Clips will have you go to the individual clip, right? Whatever the track is. Right now it's on the uh, plug-in track. If I go to an audio track, I have to load something in there to see it. So that's how you can see your MIDI or your information by pushing clip, right? If you push shift and clip, you can go to the program, right? So let's go back to clip, go to matrix, and I push shift and clip, or hold down shift and then push clip, I go straight to the program and I can start editing, you know? So let's go back to the matrix. You got the mixer button, push that, you go straight to the mixer, right? You got your different things on here. If you try to get to the sub mix, you can either swipe over with your hand, right? Or you can push this master button down here and it will shift to the returns, the master, audio one, you know, output one, two, three, four, and then the sub mixes, right? Push it again, you go back to the regular mixer, right? And then you got navigate. Now, if you push navigate, you hold it down, you're able to, using this, you can go a little thing like this, which this only works for moving up and down or left and right, dealing with the, the clips or, in this case, on the screen, right? So that's the only function it has. I wish it had multiple functions like, like you will have on the push, but this is the force. So I'm not going to get on that. Now, navigate. Um, push shift and navigate. You push shift and navigate, you go straight to the XY pad, right? Let's go back to navigate, right? If you want to, besides going down individually by one, hold down shift and push down or up, you, you move down by eight. It's a faster way to move, right? And then, like I said, shift has multiple, holding down shift and pushing certain things, give you multiple things like on record. You can set the arranger by holding shift, undo, redo. Load with shift, just go straight to the, the browser, right? 
you trying to save, you can go shift, push save, and you go to this. Shift and, and holding down shift and matrix will set you up if you're trying to hook up to Ableton Live, right? Shift and clips. Oh, let me get out of this. And shift and mixer. And shift and navigate. That's basically it over here. Now on this side, you could do, you know, plus or minus just like on the NPC. You can assign, cause this is kind of like from the, the, um, the Kai APC 40 MK2 setup where you have the crossfader, right? So you can set certain tracks to A and certain to B. So if I hold down the assign A button, if I hold it down and I come down here, it will light up, right? Hold on, go to a new project. So, right, I'll demonstrate real quick. Right, so I'm holding down this button, the assign A button, and I push the button, the buttons underneath the track, that's list light up. So I'm gonna push one. So you know what I'm doing. Right? That's assigned to side A. I'm gonna do the same thing with B. Right? So let's say, just to give an example, let's just load up something simple. Let's load up a vocal thing. Right? Now here I'm just gonna load up some MIDI. Right, and I'm just gonna pick something simple. Let's pick it up. Let's pick a piano. Right, and what you could do, you can launch right here. So what I'm gonna do, let me turn on my speakers real quick. Keep this on here. Sorry. Right. Okay. So I got the fader. I got the fader all the way to the, the left, which is for A, right? And when I bring it to the middle, I got whatever was in the second track, which is on B. And if I just want that. So it kind of gives you slight, the ability to fade it in and out. That's what that's for. This is obviously to change stuff up, you know what I'm saying? Um, you can also push the buttons to move up or down. Because like I said, this doesn't work in that, but the plus and minus do. And that's really the top buttons, right? Okay. Now, the, the buttons on the side is set up mainly. Let me stop this. The button set up on the side is mainly for kind of quick things. So, we can start from the bottom. You got your... Clip stop, push it, turns green. If it's a track and you got something in it. You got your record arm, solo is blue, mute is yellow, right? You got your tap tempo right here, right? You can either punch it in, tap it in with your finger, or you can hold it down and adjust the, the um, tempo with the knob up, up top, right? 
Here you got the art button. If you hit it, it turns it on, turns it off. You got delete, copy, edit, select. These are handy. These are like quick edit, quick ways to, you know, speed up your workflow. You got the step sequencer. If you push this button, you got notes, push that button, you got launch. Shift and any of the words with, written underneath open up certain things. So for like shift and launch, I can now go into this different settings, right? Shift and notes gives me this settings where I can, you know, quickly go to different things, right? Shift and step sequence. Same thing. Oh, excuse me. Right? Give me a different menu. Right? Um, shift and select. Um, shift and edit. Shift and copy. Shift and delete. You know. Now, if you push shift and arp, now you can come in here and you can adjust from an arp. Oh, shit, I got a light on art. To note repeat. To different things. So, yeah. If you want note repeat, you got to set the art. Enable it. Right. So, yeah. And shift and tap tempo just to get you to tap tempo. And basically, if you hold down shift with all these buttons down here, when you hold down shift, some of them light up depending on what type of setting you is. We in step sequence, note, right? You push shift, you're able to move octaves up and down, right? Those are the purple buttons. Green is to turn off the, the quantize or turn it on or activate it. You can set your metronome. You can turn it off and on when holding down shift. You can clear automation. You can double the clip length. You can set the clip, uh, the fixed length, or you can quantize. So that's really, and then like these buttons right here is to pick the different tracks, okay? That makes it pretty easy. You got your stop all button. We already demonstrated the master. And then this is just the launch scenes. Okay. Right. So like for an example, this is a clip. Right. If I want to launch the scene, push that button. And whatever clips are in that row going lateral will be uh, turned on, right? So, yeah, that's basically a quick summary of the buttons and some of the secondary functions of those buttons. And that's it. I'm Mike Venus. I'll be safe. And this was Force Basics. I'm out.